Christmas. You do? I'm gonna call them toboggans. 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 I used to do that when I lived in Connecticut. Oh, on man. my grandfather's farm. We have little toboggans here. Aren't those gorgeous looking? Although mine probably didn't have enough calories like those. Oh, these are, gonna, these, these, are, uh, these are calories galore, that's for sure. We have some wonderful Wisconsin Polish sausage. I Yum. split them down the middle. We butterflied them open. I took a little bit of, and in case someone was, I took cornbread stuffing. Okay. And it's good stuff, cornbread stuffing. And I added chicken broth to it. We added garlic to it. When you started with the cornbread and just, just put it in the pan, Instantly, the smell in the studio yeah. was of stuffing, and I was like, I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm exactly. Hungry right and, now. and you know, then I, I, I sat here and I had the grated cheese left over, so I threw grated cheese over the top, and I said to myself, you know, this gravy is good. There's butter, there's oil, there's onion, there's fresh sage in there, mm. and this is good stuff. And if you stir it around, it's, it's a nice little thick gravy that you can ladle over some of the ones that you didn't put the cheese over the top. Okay. But you know, I think it's to your discretion. This is awfully rich with the butter and the oil in there and the onion and the, and the fresh sage. So it's to your discretion, but I think these with the cheeses on are phenomenal. All right, and how would you serve them up? Oh, heavens, I was hoping you would ask that young man. Aha, uh -huh, I knew he would. Yeah, well, right over here to a platter, right over there. Now, do you want a little gravy or not? That's to your discretion. Yeah, half, half gravy. Half gravy. Half gravy. Luckily, I see that you've had the onions in there for a pretty good long time. As long as That's you cook right. up really well. Yeah, I don't exactly. mind it that way. So, and to serve them up with some wonderful, you know, yesterday we were in Abrams at a craft folks. Good craft people up there in Abrams. Good uh -huh. folks. I bought some uh, chocolate bread. Oh. <laughs> well, well, now that we have that as exactly. well, Dougie needs to try that. And, 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 and I tell you what, if you're tea. in the Manawa area today, <laughs> if you want to buy, and I remember the last couple of years, if you want to buy cookies that help go to the veterans, there's mm -hmm. a gentleman and a couple that always sell the nice cookies there and money goes to the veterans. That's great. And there's other folks selling candies and beautiful craft fair up there, a nice big one up there in Manawa at the high school. And you know, it's the time of year where you can, those are the, where you find the really cool things that are unique. You, well, know, you don't find it in a, book, a box star. Mad Dog and Merrill gift boxes. Like, I mean, like you know, their gift boxes. I know. I mean, it's nothing like the CW14 star. It's nothing like that. It's nothing like her. No, no. Yeah, but, you know, Katie Furnett is awesome. Oh, she's great. Oh, absolutely. But, yeah. you know, your show's pretty good, too. It's CW14. Yeah. It's 930 Mad, today. Mad Dog and Merrill, Midwest Grilling. You can check it out for some great grilling ideas from these crazy guys. And uh, we're going to throw it right now to Katie Furnett mm -hmm. our CW14 star. Can I say it again? Really? Katie Furnett. Yeah. I got it right that time. Let's see what's happening this week on the CW14.